Triumph, Triumph, Triumph. This is a motorcycle brand that has very strong pedigree. It has set its name in the hearts of all enthusiasts by being a purest yet elegant enthusiast motorcycle brand. But a couple of weeks ago, I was invited to see a new 400cc Triumph and I was excited because I am an enthusiast at the end of the day. But when I saw this, I thought it was an absolute curveball. This is the Speed T4 from Triumph and where the Speed 400 is meant to be for the fun, outgoing guy that wants to attack each and every corner and extract all the performance of a motorcycle, the Speed T4 says, Aram se bhai, ghai kya hai? So, is there any method to this madness? And have Triumph actually gone mad? Let's find out. Time to talk about the heart of the matter, which is the engine. It might seem like the same Speed 400 engine, but it is very different. Just like the T4 is a very different motorcycle overall. This TR series engine now has a different design airbox and a different design inlet. Uh, it also comes with a manual control throttle body instead of an electronic one. So now throttle by wire is not there. You get a physical cable for your throttle and the throttle cover is nicely covered from this new piece. The exhaust has also been retuned in order to get a more bassy thrum as well as the crankshaft inertia is now 31% higher which can only be described in a very different way. So crankshaft inertia is basically the amount of resistance that is there inside the engine and uh, you can think of it as if the Speed 400 was angry at a level the T4 is the same kind of angry but with a little bit more resistance. So he's mumbling a little bit more. He's like instead of ah. That is a pretty good way of summing it up in a nutshell. But yeah, this is now a more relaxed engine. New kone New kone wala. <laughs> wala. I think that sums it up pretty well. But what you get out of that is a very relaxed engine at any form of speed or gear. So the motorcycle just revs lower at every single gear now. Other dynamic changes are the rear sprocket. It has gone down by four teeth, so it is now 39 teeth instead of 43. And the front sprocket stays the same, 15 teeth. So now, yeah, the gearing is a little bit longer and it does sound noticeably different. Take a listen. The big question is how is this PT4 on the move and I'm happy to report that it's good. It's not the same thrilling surge anymore as you would get from the Speed 400 but it's a more relaxed motorcycle on the move. The shift in torque delivery has made the first half of the rev range the sweet spot to be in. The bottom end grunt has definitely taken the center stage as it is the first thing you notice when you ride the T4. The smaller rear sprocket has also made it feel more relaxed in the higher gears at higher speeds, making this a better cruiser on the highway. While this motorcycle is not supposed to be considered as a poor man's 400, the only place I did feel like the T4 was a step down was the throttling. The ride-by-wire throttle on the 400 has been replaced with a manual cable operated throttle, which at least in this vehicle that I got to ride felt choppier and laggier than the Speed 400 in stop and go traffic. The switch to front telescopic forks are good news for the easy riders though it feels plush and does a good job at ironing out the imperfections on the road. 
The rear as well feels softer set compared to the 400, but it's not that soft that you would think it has lost its agility completely. The motorcycle still feels playful in the corners, although it might not be as eager as the 400. The longer trail has brought in a bit more stability to the table, but overall it still feels like a relatively nimble motorcycle. When it comes to braking, I found that the front lacked some initial bite, but the rear felt nice and progressive even with little input. Given the fact that the front nose dive is also quite prominent now with the softer, longer travel suspension, it could be a bit unnerving to drop the anchor with the front brakes while pushing the bike, or even in emergency situations. But the Speed T4 is a great choice for the relaxed rider overall. It's comfortable, tractable and easy to ride characteristics make it the perfect choice for the one that just wants a chill bike that's built well and rides smoothly. Let's talk about looks, because the Speed T4 looks awfully similar to the Speed 400 and with reason, they've got quite a lot in common. The blinkers are the same, uh, the headlight is the same, the semi-digital cluster is the same, the tank is the same, the chassis is the same and even the tail light is the same. But what is different? The aluminum handlebar has been changed for a more robust steel handlebar for everyday use. The bar and mirrors have been changed for regular stem mirrors to make the handlebars a little shorter so that the bike is narrower and they're a little bit more robust too. The Speed T4 comes in different colorways and it also comes with different decals. Not only do you get a Speed T4 sticker on your side panel cover, you also get a different side panel cover. <laughs> you get a different seat with a slimmer front profile and 10 mm extra padding in the rear for a comfy pillion. And last but not the least, the exhaust is now black in order to fit the vibe of the motorcycle. Until and unless you don't get a second glance at the motorcycle, you will not really find the difference between the T4 and the Speed 400. But one thing remains the same between both those motorcycles and that is the fit and finish. There is not a single exposed cable. All of the finishing is very nice. Wherever you put your hand through, it feels really good. The paint finish is very nice with beautiful flakes popping out of this white color. And overall, this motorcycle feels premium like no other. But how is it when you put your leg over it? Swing your leg over the T4 and Things seem pretty familiar. Reach towards the ground is a bit more comfortable now thanks to the slimmer profile front part of the seat and the foot pegs are in pretty much a very similar position. So you are going to have that little cramped feeling if you are on the taller side. But the front half has gotten a little bit more relaxed since the handlebars I feel like have come a bit closer to you so you are in a more relaxed position and the other good thing that has not been lost is how compact the motorcycle feels under you that and the longer trail has made this motorcycle 30 mm longer which i feel like has really changed the way it handles at slow speeds uh, the speed 400 was a little notchy and you did uh, feel the lack of slow speed stability in that motorcycle but this one is just ready to cruise and it is very well balanced now that it has that 30 mm extra of wheelbase. One thing they didn't really take into consideration is that if you're going to be attacking this bike and you have the ball of your feet onto your foot peg, the rear foot peg, the pillion's foot peg actually comes in the way which can be a little annoying but this bike is not the one that's meant to attack a corner it's the speed 400 so if you're in this motorcycle you shouldn't be doing that anyway Last but not the least, 
time to address the elephant in the room. What's the method to this madness? Because the T4, let's be honest, doesn't really fit in the portfolio and the character that Triumph has actually had over all of these years. It's always been a premium brand that caters to a very purest form of enthusiast. But this is meant for the masses. This is something that Triumph wants to sell in other emerging countries like India. Mind you, this is only on sale in India as we speak. And this has been made to cater our market. But apparently, according to Bajaj, this motorcycle has been getting quite a lot of uh, traction in other countries as well. As a company, Triumph has to grow. The, that's the point of a brand. It's meant to grow and get bigger and better. And this could be the best recipe that Triumph could come with to start entering more emerging markets. And it definitely is a nice recipe. It's got premiumness from Triumph. It's got affordability. It's priced at 2.17 lakhs ex showroom Delhi, which is fantastic. And it is still a fun motorcycle that has been built very well. In my opinion, I am very interested to see how this does in our country. And since Triumph small motorcycles are doing well in other countries, I'm excited to see this motorcycle do its global rounds too. Because I was fairly impressed and for someone who didn't really see this coming, they have really made me see the light. So that's the end of my time with the Speed T4. Do let me know your thoughts on the Speed T4. Have you enjoyed it ever since its launch? Or did you have a revelation just like I did? Let me know in the comments down below. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.